Alright, what's up guys? Today, we're going to be talking about how to do water changes, what water to use, and where to get it and where to not get it. So, first, before we start out, uh, I want to give a shout out to I Aaron Productions. Um, he's running a contest um, for uh, $50 for the coral. And it could be of making an intro for his videos, or just uh, pick a number between one and a thousand. I think it's really cool. Fifty dollars worth of coral is a lot. Uh, so he's gonna have to pay the shipping, which is about seventeen bucks. So I think that was pretty cool. So once he gets two hundred subscribers, he's gonna make that uh, video. So you guys subscribe to him and. Yeah. So, now on to a different topic. Salt water. I'm specific about that. What kind you should use. Now, a lot of people go to the store and they'll buy salt water from there when they do their water changes. Uh, that's not such a great idea because, number one, it doesn't come with calcium and uh, all the good nutritious stuff for your tank that which is the reason for needing for getting a water change so like when you do a water change and what and you mix it with salt um that puts in all the new stuff because the salt comes in with calcium and a uh, balanced pH level and all the stuff you can get right there when you mix it fresh now when you're buying it from the store it's not going to do so well because well right, this stuff right here that's crushed stuff when they have it mixed already and been sitting for there for a while the water itself right there needs a water change itself because well it didn't well it's been sitting there for a while and it doesn't have all the fresh stuff that's for the that's the purpose for the water changing so yeah, it might be saving you some headaches, but you know what? It's not worth losing your tank. So, now let's move on to what we should use. The first step is to when you're mixing your salt water, always use distilled water or RO or RODI water is what some people call it. Now, a lot of people will use this sometimes. Uh -huh. For some people it's not okay, and for some people it is. Um, really, I don't really know if it matters or not. Because, really, is what the water conditioner does, is it will remove the stuff and take it down to RODI water itself. Now, a lot of people say it's not doing the job, because it, uh doesn't get down to zero but it works my tank is running good and um it's cheap and it says right here to you can use these kind of stuff supplements that right there is that right there so let's move on to our next thing when mixing salt you want to use one brand i use in i stick with instant ocean you want to stay with one brand and you're not going to want to switch to other brands during your mixing of salt. Um, it'll say on the back on what to mix with or how many cups it's but if it doesn't come with it on yours it is a half a cup per gallon of water. So when you do water changes you're going to want to use a siphon hose. Now this one is just a wreck because you see it's been through a lot. Um, but some people use pumps and the pump will pump the water for them. Or you can use a, py a python hose which hooks from your sink to your tank and it sucks all the water out and those are really good. They're even more expensive. Uh, so yeah. Um, the stuff you're gonna want. So let's go over what we've been talking about. 
don't buy your water from the store. Make it yourself if you want the tank to be healthier. Healthier tank is a better tank. So, um, if you did, would you? Remember to subscribe to Iron Productions. And that will be it for, for today. Peace.